So here we go. On the left hand side is a composition called Packing in A flat 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 4, 6, which sounds like this. On the right hand side is an animation to go with it that looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Evolving Spaces, Episode 13, Chapter, Poise, Access, Riku, and Advance. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting on a bunch of stuff. Uh, improvise comes from to do something not foreseen. We did an improvisation to create that piece of music you just heard. We did some other improvising that we're going to show you today. Using that custom A flat 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 4, 6 scale pushes us to spread out. If you look at the keyboard down here, all six notes of the scale are just all compressed. The next six notes are up here, and there's six notes in the middle we're not using. So we're like leaping from stepping stone to stepping stone. So it, it, it forces us to spread out our octaves. And you can kind of see that in the in the score for this piece of music. We have what we call the high range and the middle range and the low range. So these are all this is the low clef, the high clef, and the middle clef comes comes down in here. So that happened. Um we did a little experimenting, streaming from our on our trip. We've been on away for a week, and uh, we were getting interested in further experimenting, traveling, and then we did some 2D and 3D animation. This here is a 2D animation of a 3D model. You can see that it slowly turns face up and to the right. This is from a famous series called the Digital Emily Project. But then we also went to our Second Life app and we made an animated version of something we built almost two years ago that was entirely in 2D. And you may remember those are with us. This was our music exhibit attempt. So we took those scripts that make things oscillate and we animated these sliding beads on rods and then we used rotating scripts here. So this is a concept model for um, defining the metaverse 2023. And it goes with a slide version of defining the metaverse 2023, which looks like this. So our definition of the metaverse is down here. It's about evolving ecosystem and instant online. But we also, we also, how do you do this? We also used a little... AI to generate an image until we were happy with it. So that was kind of cool. So we did that too. And this is all part of preparing under results, uh, preparing for defining the Metaverse 2023 panel. So we submitted our advanced material, made that slide and sent it, and then made that, uh, that 3D, 3D concept slide as well as the 2D concept slide and submitted them both. We want to choose we want to use both since this panel will be in a 3D metaverse platform world. Uh, we already showed you the animation. We're also working in another composition called Poise, uh, which is the same scale. More to happen on that. So what we'll do to bring us home is show you this animation from the get-go. And here we go.
So that concludes today's episode. What we really like about this animation is learning how to work with uh, what we would call the fiddly bits, which was how to time the rotation of the 3D model. We'd use the 3D model way back at the beginning when we were experimenting in our 3D music composing exposition, which is now complete, by the way. Um, that ended last week at the end of our trip. Um, but we had to make it rotate two ways, and we had to time it to kind of fit in with our music and blah, blah, blah. But we did that. But what that made us realize was that kind of timing is similar to what we had to do here. We had to time these oscillations and the amplitude of the oscillations and where they start so that they give this impression of different uh, things moving around at different times. And all of these are basically sine waves, uh, rotating right, rotating left, sliding up and down, and uh, similar to what happened over here. So we learned something new from this script and applied it over here. We were trying to do the rod, the beads sliding on the rods over here, but we kind of punted at that point. So all of that happened. And we also like working again with the custom scale. Um, our ideas for next time are to continue the Poise series, which we did not show you today, and what we're calling Saturn Liminal. So we like that liminal figure emerging out of the black, and we, we sort of want to do more of that. Shout-outs to Methodic Improviser, Timbre Distinguisher, Silent Lurker, Later Viewer, and Experimental Traveler, and Dancer Ava 28 Stop by. Thank you. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.